You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers, and we got two pieces of news. And both are pretty big. One of them is very big from Joe Rogan himself, as it seems that Joe has revealed, per a conversation with Aaron Rodgers, exactly when Aaron Rodgers thinks he is coming back. And if somehow, some way, the Jets could right this ship and win 10 games and sneak into the playoffs, well, even then, I don't know that he would be back for the playoffs, but maybe. Maybe we'll have to see speed bridge and all. And, of course, Sunday night football. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers may make an appearance on Sunday night football this Sunday. Taylor Swift, move aside. Aaron Rodgers is coming through to suck all of the air out of the room. From the big Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey <sighs> love affair, whatever. What are we doing? Yeah, you guys know I haven't churned out. I went to TMZ yesterday. I swear, seven Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift articles. I, there's just no way. I, I wasn't doing it. Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who's currently rehabbing his torn Achilles, suffered in week one, is planning on attending... New York, New York's game against the Chiefs at MetLife Stadium on Sunday Night Football, according to ESPN's Rich Samini. The Week 4 matchup in East Rutherford already has fans on high alert as Taylor Swift is expected to attend amid rumors that she is dating Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. Rodgers, who is rehabbing in California, is two weeks removed from Achilles surgery and must be cleared by doctors to fly. Samini reported, adding that, quote, once he's cleared, he's flying out. And my goodness, look at that, folks. That is Aaron Rodgers walking, walking on crutches right there in some pictures that just dropped. Very interesting. The report came after Rodgers dropped a cryptic line about Sunday's game during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show Tuesday. Quote, you never know who you're going to see at the game. That followed separate comments Rodgers made the week prior when he said he wanted to return to New Jersey when he was able to walk. Quote, I'd like to be able to walk so whenever I can walk, then I'll be back in New Jersey. Rodgers was seen for the first time. Photos exclusively obtained by the Post which showed the veteran quarterback walking on crutches. 39-year-old future Hall of Famer was wearing a compression sleeve on his lower left leg as he left a four-hour workout in L.A. Rogers also explains that he's been checking in on his teammates every single day, including backup quarterback, God help us all, Zach Wilson, and offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett. People in Denver, he's going... You miss me yet? The guys have been keeping touch with me. He said, I miss the guys. It's hard to be away from them. We've got a couple of home games in a row, so I'll hopefully I'll be able to get back there at some point. But I'd like to be walking. Of course, there are the pictures where he got hurt and all of that. So, enter in Joe Rogan, and it's hilarious because not only did Aaron Rodgers, tell Rogan when he thinks he's going to be back. (laughs) But he also took a shot at the vaccination while he was doing it. In true Aaron Rodgers fashion, let's listen. Yeah. And but um, and then the first drive after all that hype with Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers in New York City, it it was huge. Yeah. And then boom, he's gone for the season. Yeah, he thinks he'll be back in six months. He said it's usually 6 to 12 months, but he said that's for vaccinated people. (laughs) (laughs) So Aaron Rodgers had a little little shot out there across the bow, said it's 6 to 12 months, but, you know, uh, the 12 months is for people that got 
the jab. <laughs> oh, Aaron Rodgers said this. There's been some good and some bad days for sure. Rodgers said about his rehab thus far on the Pat McAfee show. I'm making a lot of progress every day. A little something, a little less swelling, a little more movement, a little more mobility, a little more strength. So we're building it up and trust the process. I don't think I can be on the sideline until I can avoid guys running over. That might be in my way. I don't know what they would want. You know, we didn't think about that. He says, I guess if he goes, he's going to be in Woody and Christopher Johnson's box, most likely. Uh, That's not real surprising that that would be where he would go. I mean, I cannot imagine that he's going to show up on the sideline for that game. I mean, if anything happened, he turned, turned his head. There's a ball that comes over in his direction. A bunch of guys ended up coming off the sideline, boom, running into him. It could be disastrous for Aaron Rodgers. But that's going to be interesting. Some people are saying, and I can't believe I've got to say this out loud, but I'm going to say it because some people, who those people are, I don't know. Uh, Some people are saying that Sunday's night's game believe it or not, may be the most watched game in the history of the NFL because Taylor Swift is going to be in attendance. Like, because she's going to be in some box watching the game and her fans, I, I still can't figure this out because all of a sudden, Travis Kelsey's podcast, Travis and Jason Kelsey have a podcast together. And it's been gaining steam, yes. But this week, it was the number two podcast on all of Spotify. Probably the number one one was the guy I just showed you, Rogan. And number one among sports podcasts. And guys, there's some big ones on there. Pardon my take, Ryan Rossillo, Bill Simmons, The Ringer. We're talking... We're talking millions of listens here. And that's because the Taylor Swift effect, whatever that effect is, I guess, that I'm immune to, has caused all of her fans to now flood into things like Travis Kelsey's merch sales and now to tune in and listen to two guys really talk about football and just hang out. You know, but... A mere mention of Travis or uh, uh, Taylor Swift, and I guess everybody loses their mind. I don't understand that. I mean, my favorite band of all time is Metallica, and I mean, they could show up on Travis Kelsey. They could show up on Travis Kelsey's podcast. I'm not tuning in for it, you know, and I love Metallica, but I'm just not doing it. I, I don't, I don't understand that connection, I guess. I don't get it. Uh, Peace. I'm out. If you understand it, let me know. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.